This beautiful, slender Hollywood star has had some major cosmetic surgery. In fact, very recently she was chopped in half. A huge, newly constructed 25-metre section was added to her middle and she was welded back together again. The result? More sweets, more facilities, more glamour. Surely that much destructive surgery would ruin an already beautiful ship. Want to see the results of this huge $250 million upgrade program? Keep watching. Welcome to the elegant world of Windstar, and in particular their three super-stretched luxury yachts, Star Breeze, Star Legend and Star Pride. This one, Star Legend, was originally launched in 1990 and has had a glittering ultra-luxury career so far, including a starring role in the Hollywood action blockbuster Speed 2 Cruise Control. Like many movie stars, she has gone under the knife for a mid-life makeover, including some pretty major cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. The big question is, has it improved her? Will we be able to see the scars? And is she every bit the Hollywood star she once was? Come with us and we'll show you. We start on deck three, where 10 new entry-level porthole suites have been added, where before there were none. Also on deck three is the completely relocated Amphora restaurant, the main dining venue on the ship which has been created from scratch to provide an even more luxurious dining experience. At the rear of the ship on Deck 3 is the marina platform, where you can enjoy complimentary water sports directly from the rear of the ship. Unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to show you this as it was not deployed on our cruise. The North Atlantic in mid-November? <laughs> I think I'll skip the paddleboarding, thanks. The main feature circular staircase starts on this deck and cuts right through the ship to deck 7, topped with a glass atrium. We believe this to be the original feature staircase that has been faithfully preserved. Deck 4 is completely dedicated to Ocean View Suites and moving to Deck 5, there's the reception area and destinations office off the main staircase. If you walk through the suite corridor to the front of the ship, you'll find a lovely small sun deck with a whirlpool, ideal for witnessing those gorgeous warm evening sailaways. Unfortunately, I committed a rookie error and I left it too late in the cruise to film it, and it was closed to guests because the weather well, you know, mid-November, you can see for yourself. Back through reception and to the rear there is a small venue to the left called the Screening Room. A room perfect for a mini cinema and I guess the odd seminar. Right at the back of the ship on Deck 5 is the Lounge, the main venue for shows, presentations, port talks and guest entertainers. Up to deck six and there are more French balcony suites so please look out for our suite review as we stayed in suite 631 on this deck. We're showing you these corridors because have you yet noticed where the join is? No, nor can we. The new 25.4 meter section blends seamlessly with the original parts of the ship. You'd think it had always been there. There are 50 new suites on board increasing the guest capacity to 312. Where were we? Oh yes on deck six. A brand new addition to the ship is Quadro 44 by Michelin-starred chef Anthony Sasso. This is a Spanish restaurant and we believe it to be the first of its kind at sea. Want to see the delicious cuisine on offer? Well, we have a full Star Plus dining guide coming soon and it looks delicious. Opposite Quadro 44 is the signature shop selling Windstar apparel, lots of luxury branded goods and all those little essential things you forgot to bring on board. Finally on deck 6 is Compass Rose, the main cocktail lounge that opens early evening until late. It's where most of the evening musical entertainment takes place and you'll find the resident musicians here nightly tempting you to dance off those evening calories. Well, actually, whilst consuming more liquid calories. Hmm. There is a huge bar here too, complete with a slightly bonkers barman. 
Deck 7 is the pool deck, but there's much more here than just a pool. This deck has had a major overhaul, with nothing left untouched following the Star Plus conversion. Obviously, the new 25 meter section has added 25 meters to the pool deck, and it features not only a vastly improved open sun deck area with room for many more sunbeds, but also a brand new terraced infinity pool and hot tub area with this mesmerizing waterfall feature. Also, we love how much of the external decks on Star Plus ships are real teak, making you feel like you're in your own private super yacht. We love real wood decks and they're quite rare these days. Through to the rear of the sun deck we go indoors to the venue known as the veranda during the day for breakfast and lunch which you can eat inside or outside on the stunning rear terrace. At night this venue transforms into Candles, the speciality steak and seafood restaurant. All dining on board is included but you have to book both Quadro 44 and Candles. Book an early date and then rebook your favourite for later in your cruise. That's what we did. Back across the sun deck towards the front of the ship, we go inside to the brand new spa and fitness area. There's a really well equipped fitness centre featuring a mixture of new cardio and resistance training gear, along with, I suspect, some original resistance machines too. Well, if it ain't broke, we'll crack out three sets of ten. Across from the fitness centre is the new motion studio and further along is the brand new $3 million beauty salon and spa area featuring hot stone beds, a sauna and a steam room. The spa facilities are open for guests to use without an additional charge too. Also, on deck 7 is the bridge, and Windstar has an open bridge policy, meaning guests can go and visit the bridge at any time, except very busy times like when manoeuvring in port, etc. The bridge crew are very friendly and would love to chat with you about all aspects of their roles and the ship. This is quite a rare treat these days and shouldn't be missed. The bridge crew are so welcoming, they even have this seating area so guests can relax and enjoy the goings on. There's also a great view out over the bow of the ship, as there's a really big viewing area in front of the bridge. Finally, the highest deck is Deck 8, where there is plenty of sun deck space for relaxing on chairs and lounges, and towards the front is the Star Bar, which pre-stretch fans might be disappointed to discover that it no longer overlooks the pool. There are a few tables from the grill overlooking the pool though, so all is not lost. The reason for this lack of a view from the bar is the creation of a brand new dining venue, the Star Grill by Stephen Raichlin. More about this new concept in our dining guide. The Star Grill has dining tables on one side and comfy seating and casual tables on the other. Take your pick. Finally, right at the top and the front is the beautiful Yacht Club Café and Library. This stunning circular venue is the place to chill during the day and not only features these incredible 270 degrees of floor to ceiling windows, but also an outdoor deck area to watch the world sail by from your lofty position. Just watch your head on these steel bars though. They add to the sleek yacht look, but they'll give you a cracking headache if you're not looking where you're going. Well, it's only a small ship and that just about covers it, but we hope we've given you something to look at. And if you've sailed on her pre-stretching, Please give us a comment with your memories and let us know what you think of her reimagining. Then click the links that pop up now to continue watching more of the beautiful Star Legend. <laughs>